Okay, so we're going to make a ringtone out of one of my songs that's in iTunes. Um, this is because a couple people wanted to know how to do this. Um, you can find the steps online, but somebody said there wasn't a video, so hopefully this makes sense, but it's pretty easy. Um, I'm going to put some things in here that weren't on the tutorials that I found that was kind, kind of annoyed me because I had to figure it out on my own. But the first thing that you have to do is you, you want to find a song, of course, that you want to make into a ringtone. The other important part is you actually have to make sure that uh, when you're going to create it, you see how it says create AC, AAC version? Well, you can actually change that to AIFF and several different things. But how do you change it? That was a big question. I didn't know. So what you do is you go to edit, preferences import settings and then right here you see how it says import using AAC encoder as you can see there's several different ones that you can use well to make a custom ringtone you want to make sure it's AAC encoder so change that and hit OK and then hit OK here again okay so the next thing you want to do is find the song and I'll turn this down so it's not quite so loud but You find a song, and you can pick really any part of the song that you want. The important thing to pay attention to is the time, the start time and the end time. So if you want a certain part of the song, you need to find out where it's going to start and then where you want to end it. And the important thing to make sure is very important because it will not show up if you make it longer than 40 seconds. So again, if you make a ringtone longer than 40 seconds and you try to install it to your ringtones over here, you see all mine are 40 seconds or less. If you make a ringtone longer than 40 seconds and you try to add the file, it will not show up. It has to be less than 40 seconds. So anyways, back to the song. What you're going to do is you're going to right click, go to Get Info, go to Options, and then here you are. What I would suggest for the iPhone is to turn the volume down because the ringtone, you don't want it too loud. Uh, you may have to work with this. Usually I set it to the fourth one, as you can see, one, two, three, fourth one, and then set the start time. So on this one, let's just say we're going to check it. We want to set the start time for, I don't know, 10 seconds. And then we'll set the start time for um, 0, 40 seconds. So excuse me and then you hit OK what you want to do then is you want to right click and then you select create AAC version you can see it's converting over here I probably wouldn't normally take this long but since I'm doing other things on my computer it's, it's going really slow but normally it goes pretty fast okay and it's complete and as you can see it's like 30 seconds long okay so what you want to do here then is you want to go show in Windows Explorer okay so basically after you uh, have your file and then you hit right click and you hit show in Windows Explorer you want to right click on it again and then you're gonna go to rename Okay, now here's an interesting thing that I found out again that I didn't know. Okay, and most computers as a default aren't set up this way. As you can see on my computer, it shows the actual extension. Well, on some of your computers, it may not show that. For example, it'll just show you found me, but it won't show the .m4a, which is the extension. Okay, if you are not able to see the extension, if you just see the file name but not the dot m4a, .m4i.txt, whatever the case may be. If you don't see that, what you need to do is you need to go into Tools, Folder Options, View. You want to go down to Hide Extension for Known File Types. You actually want to make sure this is not checked. You do not want this checked. If it is checked, uncheck it, hit Apply to All Folders, hit Apply down here, and hit OK. 
once you do that it will actually start to show you the file extensions and then you can right click then you can hit rename you'll change this from M4A to M4R notice what it says here now notice what it's going to do after I change it do you want to change it may become unstable hit yes okay notice what it did now it's a ring okay I can then take this ring go to my iTunes go into my ringtones and basically what I'm going to do is just drag and drop and there it is now I go to my iPhone and there it is so the next time I hit sync it's going to sync all these ringtones now I'm not going to do this because I don't want this one on my iPhone but as you can see here's some other ones that I have done already and what you'll see I'll show you here in just a second you'll see this here and then what you'll see on your phone okay and as you can see this is my uh, iPhone on the screen here it's another neat trick but you can't do this if your phone's not jailbroken okay so what you'll do is you'll go to settings you'll go to sounds go to ringtone and here's what you're gonna see you're gonna see custom and then you see all your ringtones list listed here and then you can check whichever ones you want so I'll give you a little list in a couple of the ones I have so that's one of them that's the other one okay and as you can tell like I said the ring I had it, the volume turned down because I don't want it too loud because like I said uh, when you make your own custom ringtones you can make them kind of loud or quiet so but anyways that's how you do it so hopefully this helped you guys um, if not, you can always ask me questions, but uh, just let me know. And the other important thing is to make sure you go back to the original file, go to Get Info, go to Options, and make sure you turn this off. If not, the next time you play your song, it's going to start from 10 seconds in and stop at 40 seconds. So make sure you uncheck Start Time, Stop Time, turn the volume back up, and hit OK.